Hello lovelies, my name's Loren and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're old, welcome back. I am going to be teaching you how to tie your roller skates the correct way today. I really don't think there's any correct way, but this is just the way that I like to do it and I'm always right. So here we go. Let's get into the video. Get some laces and use those laces. Stick the aglet through the first hole and pull. Do the same thing on the other side. Double check your laces after you pull them to make sure that they're even. You make sure your laces are straight, that way at the end everything looks nice and pretty. Then you're going to take your aglet and go through the very next hole on the right side. After you get it through the first hole, you're going to go ahead and skip one hole and do the same thing on the other side. Pull through to the other side and then straighten it out. And then you're going to continue this pattern all the way up to the top. Once you're done, you should have a zigzag pattern that looks like this. Notice that some of them are going under and some of them are going over. So you're going to take the other lace and look to see whether or not you should go over or under. This particular one on the bottom is going to be something that I want to go over because I went under the first time with our first little lace. It's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully the video gives you a good idea. You see how there's two parallel lines here? That's what you want. So since there's two parallel lines, you know that the next one's going to have to go under, so that way you can keep the pattern the same. So when it comes from the right side and it's going to the top left, so if it's like diagonal bottom right, top left, then you're going to go over. And if it's going to go with the lower diagonal on the left side and the higher diagonal on the right side, it's going to go under. And then you'll keep this over under pattern throughout the entire time that you lace your shoe. So like I said, the right diagonal on the lower side will go up to the left and be over and the left lower diagonal will be under. Hopefully that makes sense and then that's how you lace your shoe all the way up to the top. You'll know you've did this right because your laces will be even and all your holes will be filled. The next part to lace your shoe are these little eyelets. They're really fragile, I've learned, and they can bend out of shape pretty easily. So the best way that I figured out to lace them is the over, under, and around technique. But first I just want to point out that when you're actually putting your skates on, the bottom part of your skate when you pull them tight should be tight and then the middle part should be just a little bit looser and then the top part should also be tight so that everything is secure. The reason you want to do this is it just helps to protect your foot from any other bruising that you might get, especially if that back leg is constantly being kicked around. If you're struggling to find that spot, just draw a line from your heel to the front of your foot and that kind of gives you an idea of where the laces should be a little bit looser. So this top part's the tricky part. You're gonna grab both laces, keep that pattern the same so this one's gonna go under this one's going to go over, just like you did before. Same exact thing. And then you're going to go up and over these little eyelids. And then you're going to go around. Now, see how they're just in there like that? There's no sticking out. Same thing on this side, no sticking out. This is really important because these eyelids are really sensitive and they can break very easily. So you're going to do the same thing for the next one. This side is the top side, so this side's gonna be on top. This side's gonna be on the bottom. Cross, just like that. Up and over the eyelids, and around. See, just like that. Up and over, and around. And then when you're done, you can tie your little bow tie. It's gonna look a little weird because it's not on my foot, but tie your little bow tie. And you're done. You've tied your skates. Mine does not look that great right now. There you go. <laughs> a little bit better. That's how you tie your skates. 
you for watching. I also forgot to say I'm pretty dirty right now just because I got back from a skate. But thanks for watching. I hope my video was helpful. I tried to be as slow as possible so you could see what I was doing. I saw a couple of other videos and they were really confusing because they were really far away when they were filmed. So let me know what you want me to film next. Tune in next time and love Loren.